Go cameras. Here we go, hot girl summer. Hey, I'm Big Mo Queso, and welcome to Motown Barbecue. Today, we're doing a smoked charcuterie board. I got some great cheese that I'm gonna smoke. We're gonna have some crackers, plus my Mo style Bloody Mary. It's gonna be a backyard party. Hi, I'm Big Mo Quezon, and I like bourbon, barbecue, and brisket. It's that simple. You're about to learn my best barbecue tips that comes from years of being a certified barbecue pit master. Who's ready for some Motown barbecue? I want you to talk about cheese, smoking cheese. I'm a big fan of smoking. I'm, if you guys know me, I'm, I'm a barbecue guy at the heart. If you just take regular cheese and slice it up, okay, it's good. But then if you take that same block of cheese and throw it in a smoker at 80 degrees pit temperature, you can infuse that smoke into the cheese. It's gonna elevate that cheese. It's gonna give you that smokiness, that great flavor you want. We're getting ready to put the cheese on the smoker. We have pepper jack, Colby, sharp cheddar, provolone. You wanna use cheeses that are firm so they can kind of stand up because you know they are getting a little heat. You need your pit to be running between 80, if not lower, to the maximum of 90 degrees. Now, with this particular smoker, we can only go down to 150 degrees. So how you offset that is you take a tray and you fill it with ice. Then you have a pan that's perforated with holes and you set that tray on top of the ice. As the heat's being applied to the bottom of that pan, the ice acts as a barrier to allow as it's smoking to penetrate the cheese. I'm gonna let this cheese start to smoke, get that flavor on that cheese, and I'm gonna go in and get me a nice Bloody Mary because it's about that time. You know, this is the time of day where uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of Bloody Mary. Whenever I fly, which I fly a lot, I always get a Bloody Mary at the airports that I visit. What's great about going to these different places and trying Bloody Mary, you can kind of get completely different flavor, but it's a Bloody Mary. First thing is, I'm going to get some seasoning. You know, I use the fish and seafood rub because it's got a great savory flavor, but then it's got a great lemon note strong lemon oil, which is great. We got some raw vodka here that you can get at hy V. Depending on what you like, one, two, three, four, five shots, it's, it's, all, it's all you, it's whatever you want to do. Well, Quezon's a big dude, so I gotta have a few shots. To me, when it comes to a Bloody Mary, what I want is spice. When I'm drinking it, it's gotta have that pop. It's gotta have that, something tickle me in the back of my throat, man, that little heat, that's, to me, it's a good Bloody Mary. I'm a big fan of Zing Zang Bloody Mary mix. It's got the right amount of zing. It's got a little heat to it. It's got a flavor. I love it. So I'm not shaking it. I'm just pouring back a few times so I can incorporate the vodka and the Bloody Mary mix and the ice. Add it to my official drink. I love pickled asparagus, so I put a couple of those in there. Love a beef stick. Boom. Celery, boom. Gonna take a couple olives. I'm gonna take some shrimp. And then I'm gonna take one of these pepperoncinis, throw that in there like that. And I'm gonna throw a gherkin in here. And that's something to snack on as I drink, down to the empty. And so the final step to this Bloody Mary mix, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Mocase on Fish and Seafood Rub. Right in the top, and look at that. Bam, it's ready to go. This is nothing but savory goodness, and it's gonna go down nice. Delicious. It's got all the notes. It's, it's got the, the savory, it's got a little heat. It's got all the goodies. Cheers to a hot girl summer, guys. It's gonna be fun. Wow. Mmm. So now we got our cheese smoked. Now, depending on how much smoke you want, that's all determines onto you. But here, you're gonna get a little browning on the exterior of the cheese. You can tell by looking at the cheese, it has smoke already attached to the surface. This is, for me, this is exactly the amount of smoke that I want on the cheese. So all we gotta do is go in here, let it cool, and you're ready to slice and add to your charcuterie board. When you want some cheese that's smoked on cherry, so be it. 
If you want cheese smoked on pecan, so be it. That's what's great about doing it in your backyard because it's very simple and very easy to do, but then you can add the flavor that you want. And there we have it. We have smoked cheese. Now, all you got to do is slice up your cheese, add your sides like your almonds or your cashews, whatever you want. You go to Hy-Vee and get all these great staples and put together a great backyard get-together. You can smell the aroma of the, the, the smoke flavor on the exterior of the cheese. It's delicious. Creamy, the traditional great cheese flavor, and then you got that smoke flavor. I've got stuff coming out of my mouth, man. I'm crazy as hell, man. Come on. <laughs> have your Bloody Mary, have your drinks with your family and friends, and enjoy. <laughs>